hey, it's time to get down as we lay the 411 on you with some sweet technical knowledge. Just roll the bumper, please. Okay, Phil, I'm really excited about today's episode. How so? That's because we're going to talk about the Silent Night's new IP communicator. The IP what? It's the IP communicator. It's a new communication device that sends reports over the internet and saves our customers tons of money over using phone lines. Wow, that sounds like a great episode for a new mascot, Booster. Booster? Yeah, those myth guys have Buster, so I thought... Let's just look at installing the IP communicator, shall we? First, power up the IP communicator from the panel. Once power is connected, LED number one will light up. You want to make sure that you don't accidentally flip the polarity or you might fry the board. That's good advice. Did you get that booster? All right, next connect the IP communicator to the dialer using the two AP connections on your chalk block. Is the IP communicator ready to configure right out of the box? It is, but there may be times when you need to reset it to default. Let me show you how to do that. First, connect the jumper. Then apply power to the communicator. The LEDs will flash in series when you apply power. You move the jumper on the second time through. If you do it in time, you'll get a third cycle of LEDs. Okay, so are we done? No, not yet. First, we'll have to configure the unit. Connect the IP communicator to the laptop using an Ethernet cable. Next, you'll need to change the IP address on your laptop to one that matches your IP communicator. That sounds complicated, doesn't it, Booster? It's pretty easy once you do it a few times. First, open up your network connections. Then, right-click on your LAN connection and select Properties. Next, scroll down to TCP slash IP and select Properties again. Select Use the following address and enter the following IP address. 192.168.0.25 The last number could be any digit between 0 and 254 except 100. So 25 works real well. Then tab to the default subnet mask and hit OK. The computer will think for a bit and then you'll have an IP address that will speak to your communicator. OK, what's next? Next you want to run your IP configurator tool. You can find the software at www.silentnight.com. Select Telnet as your communication method and enter the IP address of the IP communicator, 192.168.0.100. The password is there for you already, but just in case you forgot, it's 24680. Did you get that booster? Next, enter in the information. The green section will be from the site's IT department and the red will you will get from your central station. You can get a handy configuration worksheet that will help you out at SilentNight.com. Once you're done, hit configure, and that's it. That's it? That's it. For more information on the IP communicator, including a comprehensive online learning, please visit us at www.SilentNight.com. And be sure to join the Booster Fan Club. Let's play. There is no Booster Fan Club. But...